Now, the D3Football.com Play of the Week for the 11th week of the 2017 season. Brought to you by D3 Talent. A game is not over until the horn sounds. Will anyone learn? 14th ranked Case Western Reserve trailed Carnegie Mellon 31-27 with less than a minute to play. Looked like the Tartans were going to kneel out to win, but got called for an unsportsmanlike penalty forcing them to punt, which Case Western Reserve blocked in return for the touchdown. That gave the Spartans the lead with just 22 seconds remaining in the game. Watch this again. The entire defensive line for the Spartans seems to have a chance for the block. Justin Fan ends up picking up the ball at the three yard line and returning it for the score. But here's the kicker, literally. The Spartans squib kicked the ensuing kickoff, which eventually allowed Carnegie Mellon to hit a 43 yard field goal to tie the game and force overtime. Case Western Reserve ended up surviving an OT 41-34 to clinch the co-PAC championship and an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament. But wait, there's more. But if not for a penalty, which stopped the clock, forced a punt, which was blocked, and returned for a touchdown near the end of the 32nd annual Academic Bowl, the Spartans of Case Western Reserve would not be dancing in the NCAA tournament. It was the block that changed the bracket. And it is the D3Football.com Play of the Week. Brought to you by D3 Talent.